Hi, I'm Crazy Cora. And guess what? I turned 50 this last year. And that means, whoop, time for the colonoscopy. So I've done some pro tip researching myself. And I'm just going to give you a couple little tips. Um, you can do your own research. There's plenty of videos and stuff out there to learn. But um, you're going to go get whatever it is, the mix that they give you. Um, I was assigned to get Miralax. And I understand it's not quite as bad as it used to be, but nonetheless, it's not going to be pleasant, right? So you're supposed to mix it with 64 ounces of liquid, but I would suggest go ahead and splitting it in half and then taking half and then like six, to eight, six hours later, take the other half, uh, maybe eight hours. See what your doctor says, but you can get yourself some like Gatorade. That's already a 32 ounce bottle. And then mix half of it with this. And then maybe mix half of it with something else. Um, you don't want to ruin your palate for, that for the rest of your life. So, And then in between drinking this stuff, you want to really, really flush and hydrate out. So for me, I have plenty of green tea and peach tea, strawberry tea. I mean, like all, all kinds of tea. Um, you can do crystal light. Um, anything that you could actually see through when you hold it up to the light, as long as it's not dark, like, you know, purple, reds, uh, blues, you can't really have stuff with color in it. So stick with your yellows and your whites if you can. Um, and then, you know, honey, I'm, I always have lots of honey on site, uh, for my tea. Um, charger, you're going to want to charge your phone. I understand there may not be too much away time. So if that's the case, let's just have a charger for our phone with a long cord ready to go so we can stay on our phone and stay connected. Um, you're going to want a book. Get a book. Maybe two. Probably not best to do it on a work day. I'm going to go for it. But then my next day I'm taking off, which is my procedure day and celebration day. Um, wet wipes. You're going to want these for your bum. Yep. You're going to probably go through a whole package of these and a lot of toilet paper. Make sure you have extra toilet paper stocked by the toilet so that you don't have to go get it. Okay. That's super important. Another thing that's important, whether you're a guy or a gal, get your sweats out. You need to have expandable pants. If you are going to jack around with buttons or zippers, you're going to pay for it. Remember, no onesie. Then another pro tip I got is um, to like use coconut oil or you know something like this that might be a little bit more sticking power. And yes, you're gonna want to do that because I understand there's a lot of action going on and. There's wear and tear. It's depreciation on the asset. I mean, it is what it is. So, with that in mind, do get your creature comfort items that you need. Have them close by. Make sure your workstation is within proximity of 10 steps or so. Uh, don't make any plans other than that for that half a day. And... This should all brew pretty good. Remember, this is like a good thing. I mean, we're going to clean the pipes, right? I mean, and it's, it's going to be, you, you might lose six pounds. You might lose 12. Heck, you might even lose more. But I'm really looking forward to this. And then having this as an opportunity, as a starting point after it's over, to really watch what I put inside my body and uh, try to lose some weight by having a new kind of a reset button. Okay. Anyways, um, I hope that some of these things help you when it comes to your time to do it and we'll see how it goes. I'm not excited, but I'm not dreading it either. So, so here we go. A whole view of what you need. Don't forget the bendy straw so you can stick that down your throat farther not to taste that stuff. There are so many choices.
This is what they told me to get. Do I dare get the inexpensive stuff? I don't even know how this stuff works. You stick that in there? Okay, to check out we go. Now we all know the main side effect of having a colonoscopy, but there's a positive spin in silver lining. It's called weight loss. So you can lose anywhere between six to 30 pounds of crap. So make sure you do your weigh-in before you start doing your prep. And that way you'll have instant gratification on your results. Do you think I'm gonna share the scale with you? <laughs> yeah, I think again, but I will share the results. So what's the deal with this stuff? It's bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Magnesium citrate. Doesn't smell bad. <laughs> it's kind of tart. But it's lemony, but it's not bad. No, really. Have a try. Have a swig. Nope. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> all right. We're going to see what everybody's talking about here. Remember the bendy straw so that you can stick it all the way in the back of your throat. <laughs> it kind of kind of smells like Elmer's glue a little bit. You know, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's not great, but it's not... Not horrible. Cheers. Are you ready? This is going to be good. Purge out all the nastiness, the grime, the buildup. Make it go away. This is good for you. So I may have made a mistake in not reading the directions completely. I recall something about it saying every 15 minutes to drink the 32 ounce bottle until it's gone. I waited till like the last 10 minutes to drink half the bottle. And then an hour and a half later got extremely nauseated. I mean, I got the shakes. I got the freaking had to take my shirt off because I was on fire and then of course the decision do you kneel or do you sit and trust me under every circumstance do not kneel <laughs> don't do it um so I'm feeling I'm feeling better now but um I'm kind of having to learn some of this stuff as I go and of course I have to share it with you so that your experience is the best it can be Holy hell. I mean, like, holy hell. There's no leaving this place. Do you hear me? There is no leaving. Got a little streak in ya where you want some revenge? Got a boss who's an asshat? Maybe a bowling partner who's a little pompous? Well, put them in their place. As long as you can get them to drink a lemonade, mix this. Take a good look. Magnesium citrate. It's a buck ninety-nine. It's by the Pepto-Bismol stuff in the store. Mix half of this 10-ounce bottle with a lemonade. And boom. Sit back, watch the show. <laughs> Another pro tip, do shower, but do it in between your doses. Because if you don't feel good, like I didn't after the first one, you ain't going to feel like it after the second one. And the second one is close to go time. And I don't mean go, I mean you got travel go. If you can't trust a fart, well, 
be ready, be prepared. It's part of your basically disaster preparedness for this situation. All kinds of people are going to be looking at your hoo-hoo or your junk. So have it clean, have it shaved up, do whatever you need to do to make yourself as clean as you can. Another pro tip for you, this is Deja Poo by Poopery. Have yourself some kind of pleasant smelling spray so that you can help others in the house handle your situation as well. And flush, 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 flush. I mean, you don't have to wait till you're done going because you're not done going. So just flush, flush and flush. Not gonna lie, second dose is a little bit more challenging, and no matter how much I sip, it still stays at half. Seriously? I thought that said fist guard. <laughs> Exhausting.